Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn, a Capricorn love reading, or this could just be a double reading for, um, a single reading for Capricorn, just a really, a really strong message for Capricorn. Um, could be some different points of, points of view, or it could be a Capricorn, Capricorn love connection. All right, so I wanted to pick a healing stone for an overall energy and we have adventuring which is good for luck and money and gets rid of sad emotions all right so we'll put that over there so luck and money so maybe that will help you with luck and money and getting rid of sad emotions so we definitely want that all right, so I have the Romance Angels to put in between. I only have one Capricorn card, so there'll be two sides. Um, and then I have a deck for this side, a deck for this side, and then I have a clarifying deck, and then we will close out with an Oracle card. Um, either side can represent you, whichever, feel, whichever side you feel represents you, since it's Capricorn and Capricorn. Um, We have trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. We have codependency. Addiction, addictions are affecting your romantic life. Now that could represent any sort of addiction or I feel negative behavior. It could be negative thinking. It could be social being addicted to social media. It could be substance. It could be, you know, um, bad energies, you know, whatever, whatever that is forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present and future moments. All right, so forgiving and learning, having trust in this situation, calling for you to have faith that you can get past this, whatever this, I feel like this is the main thing here. Like I said, this could be a, you know, like kind of like a double self reading, for you so like i said it could be some you know bad habits that you have it could be addicted to social media constantly being on there constantly checking other people's social media being in that energy i feel like social media can be you know rather destructive kind of being in that energy and it's almost freeing being able to step back from that or tone that down um or it could be, you know, whatever that codependency is. Um, and then forgiving and learning. It could be forgiving and learning, um, forgiving someone else, or it could be forgiving yourself for maybe choices that you've made. Um, I feel like doing this side first. Sometimes we're the hardest on ourselves, you know. We have to learn to forgive ourselves. It's okay. Like we've made mistakes and we'll learn from those mistakes. All right. This is the Green Witch Tarot and this is the Alice in Wonderland Tarot. This is Romance Angels, and I have links down below for any of the um, cards that I use if you want to check that out. <clears throat> and this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take what does. If it does not, leave what does not. Also, you have the power to change my life for the better just by liking, subscribing, and watching my video all the way through. I greatly appreciate any and all of your support. I truly do. All right, we have nine of wands here. And he has all of his wands laid out here, but he kind of has this look like he's thinking about something or he's watching this little, this little fairy here. And he's like, I got my eye on you. I'm watching. Almost like he's ready to make a move, but he's like waiting for somebody. He's like, well, what are you gonna do before I make my move? Or, cause he's got his hands in the stance, like holding back, holding on. 
I'm not ready to make my move yet. I'm going to see what happens around me. I'm not ready. I need some time to think about things first. We have Eight of Pentacles. That's a new way of doing. Could be a new job opportunity coming in for you. You're not ready to jump on it right away, but you're going to think about it, or it's a new way of doing things. We have the Seven of Swords, and he's coming home from the hunt. That person is waiting for him. But he's looking towards the side and looking at that skunk, so kind of proceeding with caution. We have the Lord of Shadows, which is the death card, and there's this person standing back here and these two people walking away. There's a wishing well here. There's sort of like this moth here um, that's <clears throat> flying around. Um, the death card represents letting go of things that are no longer useful, you know, for us. Not that I'm saying that this, you know, these people right here are not useful, but, you know, it's, it's, um, maybe letting go of some relationships that may be toxic for us. Transforming a relationship. That could also be what that is. All right, we have the Knight of Cups reaching out. He's re handing out his cup. I think I want to get the book and read what the book says about that. Holding ourselves, uh, stressing about something. There's some, some anxiety. There's a bat at the window. There's knives above the window, and there's a bat right at the window. We have the, t the tower, and then we have the witch, and then for overall energy we have the king of wands. Uh, number one is the magician, so making things happen, and then the king of wands. I almost feel like the king of wands is... It could also represent somebody that you trust that is very knowledgeable and that is very wise and getting help from them. So I'm going to grab my Green Witch book and I just want to look at um, the death card. I just want to see what it says. This is a card of change, moving from shadow into light. Some things that have hampered this change are put aside to make the transition possible. The God of nature in his aspect of Lord of shadows, <clears throat> the ruler of the underworld, pauses in the shadows of the forest to watch an elderly man with his grandson walk away from a well with a full bucket of water. In early times, the well was a metaphor of life force energy, the magical waters of the life that sustained one's creative spirit and joy of being. The man and the child show the generations that flow from the water of life, the satisfaction of a life well lived under the bright light of the sun. The Lord of Shadows, with an air of patience and kindness, holds in his hand a twig of you. So that's that little twig there. His presence suggests a life in transition with the obstacles to transformation being cleared away. There needs to be a clean sweep for the right changes to come to fruition, for only in this way is there progress and improvement. Sometimes this comes as a matter of course in one's life. Refusal to accept a new outlook may in, in, engender a loss of hope, stagnation, or a lack of growth. It is from the cleansing that new optimism arises, removing negative influences and allowing positive ones to enter. Old situations give away to new ones and the past is left behind as a person moves on, released from prior commitments. The yew tree with its red berries represent the underworld, change, rebirth, and renewal. 
a luna moth for transitions and moving towards the light flies gracefully from the shadows towards the sunlit countryside. So that's about going from the darkness into the light, making those changes, okay? Transition, transformation, making the path clear for you. Right below that we have the tower and the tower is there is sunlight bursting through this tower to break away the tower you know to rebuild I feel like this person has a lot this side has a lot of transformation and change going on here um, a lot of stress a lot of worry I feel like you're holding yourself back um, like like you're you're almost like you're frozen like you're afraid to move forward with something um, I feel like confiding in someone that's really close to you that's very has a lot of wisdom and is very wise I feel like that's going to help you um, or it could be that you're learning a lot from this heavy experience that you're going through Okay, and now that could ha all have to be with this codependency. So that could be this person here that is struggling with this. Um, addictions are affecting your romantic life. This could be this person. This person here has this heaviness um, of something. And I feel like this person, like they want to reach out for help. Um to make things happen and to change things up for a new way of doing things. This person has to trust the situation, having faith that you can get past this. The tower is also about something that is built on a false foundation but it's also about rebuilding it stronger. So rebuilding this relationship stronger and better. It could be rebuilding self stronger and better. Like I said, if this is one big reading for Capricorn, forgiving and learning, like I said, forgiving and forgiving yourself, you know, if you need to for, for things that may have happened, that, for choices that you had made. All right, let's see. We have the Six of Swords, which I've said before, which I feel like Six of Swords is coming out a lot for Capricorn. Um, and that is about moving on, moving away from things, um, changing things up. We have Justice, things falling in your favor. We have the Queen of Swords. I've always felt like the Queen of Swords in my readings has come a lot out a lot for Capricorn. Overcoming those difficult situations, because I feel like Capricorn has gone through a lot of... Um, heavy situations, a lot of difficult things I feel like over the last, I'd say decade, that, you know, it's been really challenging for Capricorn. Um, there's been a lot of things that Capricorn's had to deal with. Um, we have the Chariot, we have the King of Cups, we have the Three of Swords. We have the Eight of Pentacles. You both have, both sides have Eight of Pentacles, so both sides are ready for change. We have the Three of Pentacles, ready to put the work in. We have the Strength card, being strong. Um, <clears throat> and then Wheel of Fortune, ready for change. So I feel like this side is ready for change. I feel like this this side has gone through more of the change. I feel like this side has worked on themselves more. I feel like this side has put the work in. I feel like this, this side feels stronger. This side feels more confident. This side is ready for change. I feel like this side over here is still dealing with it. I feel like you're in the midst of it. You're in the heaviness. You're in the now right now of the heaviness of what you're going through. Um, and you're reaching out to this side over here um, for some help um, to deal with this situation right here. Three of Swords, 
you know, Three of Swords can represent, um, obviously, heartbreak, that you feel that your heart has been stabbed multiple times by someone. It also represents distance. It could be emotional distance between the two of you, or it could be physical distance, as in you're not in union. Um, so... That could be that, 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 you know, there's either some heartbreak between the two of you or there has been, you know, either some emotional distance between the two of you. Because I don't, I both feel like you've, you've, you've gone through things. I feel like this side is more of like a personal battle within yourself. I feel like this side, it was because the hurt from this side. All right, so let's get some clarifiers. Six of Swords, feeling emotionally better. I, like I said before, I feel like this side feels emotional better. This side feels stronger. This feels, this, this side feels emotionally strong, ready to handle, ready to, to handle things, ready to look towards the future, ready to plan for the future. Um, Queen of Swords and then the Ace of Pentacles. Aces are new beginnings. Feeling strong, feeling feeling strong, feeling ready to get, ready for change. I'm ready to move things forward. Again, and that's the chariot, and that's about moving things forward. The star, having hope, having positive energy, um, having that faith. I feel like, you know, having that trust. Um, King of Cups, going with, going with the flow but then we have the fool card which is reversed so um, that's about feeling stuck and feeling like there's still some more things that you need to deal with um, there's still some things that you're working through and I and and this is this energy over here this is this person you're, you're feeling a little stuck you're ready to move forward but you can't because I feel like you're waiting for this side or this person to work through things. Ace of Swords, Aces, New Beginnings, another new Ace, another new start, um, overcoming a difficult situation. Eight of Pentacles, ready for change, ready to make change, a new way of doing things. Three of Pentacles, <clears throat> ready to put that work in. We have King of Cups again. The King of Cups is somebody who goes with the flow, somebody who kind of just, it's almost like water under the bridge Yes, that happened, but we're going to get through this and not holding on to those things that are putting up that barrier. Um, letting more things go and not hanging on to things because I feel like you've realized, like, why am I holding on to this energy? Because it's not helping me. It's not doing me any good. Strength card, five of pentacles. This is, like I said, since the fool came out reversed, I feel like you're, you feel like you're a little stuck. But this is just temporary, okay? This is just something that is temporary. I do feel like you have so much energy that you want to move forward that I do feel like that will um, start to move forward. But it's just temporary that you're feeling a little stuck right now. But I do feel that you are feeling emotionally much better. We have the wheel and then we have the five of wands. And I feel like that's going back and forth because I feel like Maybe you feel like you take two steps forward and then you, you're one step back. And that could be that relationship with this person over here because this person is struggling so much and I feel like that's where this these three cards come in here over this side is because of this person over here and they're still struggling. They're, they're in the now dealing with it. I feel like you this side has moved past it. Nine of Wands and then... Yeah, Eight of Swords, holding yourself back. This side is holding yourself back. Like you're you're braced. You're like, I'm not ready to make a move yet. I need some time to think about things first before I move things. Um, I feel this really heavy burden on this side, this heaviness that like all of these swords, I do feel that. But tens are also completion, so it's about getting past this. I do feel that you will, will be able to get past this with the help of this person over here, even though this has been a struggle or confining in that person that has a lot of wisdom. But this could also represent that person, even though I know Capricorn is not wands, but it, it could represent this person over here is very wise and very knowledgeable and has been through a lot. And 
is ready to help this person over here. We have the Eight of Pentacles and then we have the Nine of Pentacles. These new changes are very happy and very positive coming in for you. They're very rewarding. I do feel that this person over here will be able to work through this, um, through this situation um, with positive results. Seven of Swords, um, Ace of Cups, yeah. This, I feel like this whole situation is going to bring the two of you, if this is two separate, um, the two of you a lot closer together because you guys have weathered the storm. This has been a difficult storm for the for the two of you to weather through. Um, this is this person is still holding back. They're still keeping to themselves because they have a lot that they're going through. This is not some like I feel like this energy is in the now. Um, it's almost like the first layer of cards is is the present, and then the second layer of cards is like the future, where you feel that you know there you are going to release the burden that you are going to have the re, the rewards, but you know you not all the future like this I feel like is current energy because you are still holding yourself back but I do feel that this relationship will connect we have the moon here so I feel like that represents time that it's going to take some time to get past this we have the nine of cups I feel like this person is finally ready to reach out to this person that maybe this person has been holding back but I feel like this person is ready to finally reach out look at that we have two of cups reach out to this person over here okay reach out for that that relationship and that connection i feel like this person has just been holding themselves back for so long and that has probably caused a big wedge between the two of you and that 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 border that 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 tower that almost was built up over here is finally coming through the sun is busting through for this person. Um, this is a stressful situation for this person. This brings a lot of anxiety for this person because this is something so out of their box and their comfort zone. And then we have the death card again, which is this one right here, which is in the, is in the middle. And there is some big transformation for this person. There is some big changes coming um, for this person. Look at that. We have the tower on top of the tower. That's crazy. There is so much change coming for this person right here, or if this is one big reading. Um, there is so much change coming. The tower on top of the tower. That's what I, I could feel the heaviness of this energy over here. I could feel the weight. Um, for this person, for this side. It's been really difficult for this person. But the tower is also about rebuilding stronger and better. And I believe a thousand percent that this person is ready to fight, is ready to work through this, is ready to <clears throat> make those changes, is ready to transform. There's a big transformation for this person here. And then we have the witch, which is also the magician. And then the Five of Swords, not letting other people influence you about being on your own journey. Um, only surrounding yourself with those positive people that will help you in your journey. Um, walking away from those that are holding you back or that are, you know, it could be just walking away from social media, you know, if that's what you're having an issue with. Um, it could be, you know, walking away from, from that. And then we have King of Wands, and then we have the Knight of Swords, ready to fight another day, ready to move forward, ready to um, make those changes, ready for that forward progress. Um, I feel that this person wants to support this person. Um, it has been a battle for the two of you. It has been a back and forth. But I feel like this is your this side's biggest cheerleader. And this side has been through an awful lot. Because I feel like this side wants to see this side get better. 
and if this is one big reading then it's about you've gone through some really heavy some heavy changes and to confide in those that you can trust that are wise and have um, a lot of good advice and you will get past this. It's 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 just temporary right now, but I feel like there are some huge changes coming for you. But there's a lot that you have to tear down here. All right, let's see. What do we want to close out with? Let's do a Whispers of Love. But I do feel that this relate with the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups right here in the middle. I do feel that that if this is two separate relationships, or it could just represent, if this is one big reading, I feel like your relationship with your partner, or you will find that special person that will be there to support you and help you through this, um, or your, your person, um, the two of you, your relationship will become stronger. Because you guys have weathered the storm. All right, we have new love. Okay, so it, it could be a new love. We have new love. Embrace the opportunity for love in your work prospects or for spiritual growth. Um, it could be new love for self. There could be a new relationship coming in for you. Like I said, if this is just one big reading for you, that there is a new partner, a new love that is coming in for you that will be there to support you and to help you through this difficult time and to help you to rebuild and will show you things in a different light and will show you the way that you should be treated. Um, because you're also making better decisions for yourself that you're choosing someone who is that true partner. All right, and then this one, take a chance on love. When we love, our lives are changed forever. Taking a chance on love, rebuilding love, this new love, taking the chance with this new love that's coming in for you. Or it could be that if this is to um, a person here and a person here, that it could be this rebuilding of this relationship and this love between the two of you and taking a chance on love. And this feels like a new love because you guys have weathered the storm. And then the next card out is miracles and blessings. Everything has its gift. That is beautiful. I love that one. Miracles and, and bless, blessings. Like... Like I was saying, is that this is something very difficult. This this person has double tower. Um, it's very heavy that this person has gone through, um, and to see the light in it, to see how strong you are, that you've gotten through this situation, that you've held in there, that you've you've stuck with it, that you've triumphed over this difficult situations and seeing the miracles and blessing from it and seeing everything has its gift its gift from this even though this was so heavy and hard and difficult for you to go through that it has its own gift because i feel like it's made you stronger and it either presents you with this new love that is so special and amazing um, with this new person or it's reconnecting this love even stronger than it's ever been wow cool reading I, li I like it very heavy very heavy on this side but this person is very strong this this person is a fighter okay this person is a fighter this this person is ready for change this person is a fighter and miracles and blessings everything has its gift all right thank you so much for watching as always stay positive stay safe and I will see you next time